Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another brand new missions episode here on Blowout Gaming. Today, guys, I have a very special episode in store. I was thinking I would take you through the Bog Beatdown. That's right, guys. Now, out of all the missions on the Genesis map, guys, the Gauntlet missions are by far some of the most difficult because you cannot use any of your dinos. You have to do it by yourself or with a small group of friends, whichever one you have access to. But guess what, guys? Today, I'm going to be taking you through running the bog beatdown on Gamma solo. And you know what? I'm going to do it 25 times. I'm going to show you guys some of the best strategies to beat the bog beatdown. And of course, go over all of the loot that we get. And you know what? You guys are going to be surprised. So stay tuned till the end. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and let's get started. Now, the main goal of the Bog Beatdown mission, guys, is to kill all of the dinos. Pretty straightforward. There's going to be a bunch of different dinos spawning in in waves, and you guys are going to have to use the weapons provided to take them out. Now, you have unlimited ammo, as you can see, and you're going to go through and you're going to destroy all of these creatures. Now, what's really cool about this is obviously these weapons are really, really amped up. So you're basically one-shotting a lot of these, especially on Gamma. Now, as you can see, guys, the best strategy that I found is going to be the spear. In round one, you guys are going to have access to the regular spear. The spear allows you to throw a whole lot more in a shorter period of time compared to some of these other weapons. The goal is to get all of these creatures to chase you. That way, every once in a while, we can stop, turn around, and throw the spear. Now, what's really awesome about this is it's actually really not that hard. The first time I ever did it, I was a little bit intimidated, but you know what? It's really, really easy once you get the hang of it. Now, in the second round, guys, you're able to run up and grab the fire spear, which is going to do even more damage. We're going to continue to kill these dinos as they spawn. And then finally, we're going to get to the final level. Now, what's great about the final level is that we're almost done because at this point, it's taken forever running around in circles, throwing around flaming spears. But the brood mother is guaranteed at the end. I'll go ahead and grab the flaming crossbow so that I have a little bit more distance and a little bit more power to take out the brood mother. And just like that, you can see we've taken it out and we've beaten the gamma bog beatdown. The Gamma gives you a ton of good loot, guys. I'm going to go ahead and run this 25 times. I'm going to put all of this stuff into a vault, and then I'm going to show you exactly what you can expect to get here from the Bog Beatdown mission. Now, the first vault, guys, is going to be the loot we expect to get every single time. Believe it or not, there are some items that we can actually rely on getting almost every single time, and then some. As you can see, I have a bunch of flak chest pieces and tech helmets here, and as you can see, I have way more than 25. So I was getting multiple flak pieces and tech pieces at a time while I was doing this. Now, the weapons, I was consistently getting these assault rifles, and guys, I am getting some apprentice level, some ramshackle, honestly, some pretty decent gear uh, just for running a gamma by myself. Now, saddles, unfortunately, nothing too fancy, just the Paracer platform saddles is the main one that you can count on getting almost every single time. And then the miscellaneous Guys, this is going to be all of our soups and stews and chowders and tartars. We did get some of our medical brews and energy brews. And then you can see we got a bunch of the glow sticks as well. Uh, for some reason, I also got a ton of these metal blueprints. And then I got some shields. I mean, nothing crazy. Now, as far as surprises go, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things that we might see doing this mission as well. Now, as far as armor goes, as you can see, there is no shortage of armor that we might get. I did get a fair bit of gas masks, but as you can see, we got a few pieces of riot gear, fur, cloth, even some of the desert cloth. We got a few pieces of scuba. We got a few ghillie chest pieces, hide, chitin, even some hazards. So honestly, a pretty good selection. We did not get any more uh, tech, which is okay. But you know what? Not bad for just the gamma on this mission, though, guys. I mean, you do this a few times, you pretty much have what you need just to get started. Now, weapons, again, pretty much the same thing. Again, we saw a huge variety. We have everything from torches, clubs, whips. We have pickaxes, axes, crossbows, a few swords. We even got a couple rocket launchers, guys. A uh, pump-action shotgun, a couple of lances, a couple of long necks, a couple of simple pistols. So, honestly, we even got a fabricated pistol. I mean, this is a pretty good variety. We even got 
one mining drill. So pretty good loot that you can expect to grab, although 25 times doing the bog beatdown was was a serious amount of energy. It took at least 10 minutes per run, uh, and then some. I mean, I'm probably being generous. So we can also expect to see a good variety of saddles as well, guys. I know that Paracer doesn't get everybody too excited, uh, but there was a pretty good variety of other saddles in here as well. We did end up with some Basilisk saddles, some Equus saddles. We've got some Dodicarus saddles, Roll Rat, Mega Shellon, Mega Laceros, We've got, you know, Thorny Saddles. That's pretty great, especially here on the Genesis maps. We even have some Giga Saddles, guys. So, honestly, this, again, you never really know what to expect. I mean, there are a few items, like I said, but at the end of the day, this gives you guys a really good idea of what you might find doing the Gamma Bog Beatdown. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments below what some of the best items you got were. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on the next one. I will see you guys later.